So here's a short story about a husband, a brand new husband who got married one week ago, less than a week actually, who has now canceled his honeymoon and is seriously considering divorcing his brand new wife after she was making out with her maid of honor on the dance floor of their reception. But you're going to see, guys, that this story, as you can imagine, has a theme, a, a, a lesson about once a cheater, always a cheater. And his now wife has a history of this kind of BS, but he let it go and gave her second and third and fourth and fifth chances. And shocker, she kept up this behavior about how gals don't respect you when you act weak. And if you give a cheater a second, third and fourth chance, they're going to keep doing it again, amongst many other things. But this guy's finally getting it through his skull, thick skull, to handle things accordingly. Uh, title, Am I the a-hole for canceling our honeymoon and considering divorce when my wife made out with a female friend at our wedding? Uh, no. It says here, I, a 24-year-old male, recently got married last week to my wife, a 24-year-old female. Smack! 24 years old, you couldn't wait a few years. I bet you she was pushing for that wedding so she could be have her magical day. Wasn't about you, sir. We will call her Sarah. Me and my wife have been together for four years and have only had one major issue. My wife is a drinker. She only drinks about once a week, but usually drinks way more than she can handle. When we first got together, I realized she has a habit of making out with random women when she's drunk. <laughs> a lot of guys are like, so? There's a problem. If she, can't, if she, when she drinks, has to drink so much she gets plastered and acts like a jackass, no, that is an instant red flag. I'm sure you can find some other chick that doesn't behave that way. And guess what? Making out with other girls, so she's bisexual, she's attracted to them, that's a problem, as you're going to see. Now, I do not think it's sexy or exciting. I, myself, am bisexual, and I view this as cheating. Well, it is cheating. After the second time I caught her about a few months into dating, I sat her down and told her that absolutely would not be okay as long as we were in a committed relationship. It took many conversations for her to understand that I was serious and viewed it as cheating. She promised to stop but insisted she didn't cheat. So there's a problem when in her mind, making out with other girls wasn't cheating. Doesn't matter what she thinks. I guarantee you if you're making out with other dudes, she'd see that as cheating. Or doing other things with other dudes I don't need to mention. But you keep taking her back. And that communicates to her, oh, no matter what I do, this guy will take me back. Watch cheer always a cheater. And women don't respect weakness. She was good about cutting back on drinking and being more mindful of me. No, she was good at hiding it. However, over the years, I caught her kissing two other women. Once a random acquaintance, and the last time about two years ago, it was her best friend turned maid of honor, Brooke, a 24-year-old female. And you still stayed with her, and you married her, bonehead. What do you expect is going to happen? Sorry it's happening to you, but you have to learn. Important piece of information, after I caught her the last time, I had a complete and total breakdown. And it took her coming to my therapy sessions and couples counseling for her to understand how badly she hurt me. Dude, she knew she hurt you. She doesn't even give a shit. You're an easy guy to settle with and get a wedding out of. She didn't marry you for you or to be a Mrs. Somebody and spend her life with someone she loves and cherishes and all that. She did it so she could have a fucking wedding and be a star and get all the attention, validation, have all her pictures to put on Instagram, Facebook. Her actions have communicated this. It's all about actions, gentlemen. I told her if it ever happens again, regardless of circumstances, I was out. And she's like, heard that before. This brings us to the present. The wedding day it comes around and it was perfect. The happiest days of our lives and whatnot. Then the reception. We, of course, got pretty drunk. Not blackout or belligerent, but definitely drunk. Smack! I don't know about you guys, but I think... The, bridal, the, the bride and groom should never get drunk at their fucking wedding. They got all family and friends there to see them. And, and there's got to be something sacred here, you know? Yeah, you can have your ch uh, toasts of the champagne when the best man and the best bimbo of honor gives their speeches. You know, but getting drunk at your wedding, I just always thought that was so uh, tasteless. Or when they put the freaking, they, when these dumbasses rub the cake in each other's faces. I mean, talk about low fucking class. But anyhow. I had a rant. Those things bother me. Uh, where am I? <clears throat> At some point, my wife asked me to get, a, get get her a pair of comfortable shoes. Okay, your majesty. Anything else I can get you? Your tiara and your scepter? 
On the way back, I see my uh, wife with Brooks tongue down her throat in the middle of the dance floor with her other bridesmaid. So it is, it's bad enough she does this to you, but now she's doing it right there in front of everyone. I stop my way into the reception, push Brooke out of the way, and says something along the lines of, what the F are you doing? At this point, everyone stopped and looked at us, and I just threw the shoes and walked out. Sarah chased after me, bawling hysterically. Of course, the waterworks, you know, grow the F up. I mean, if I'm the families there, I'm looking at them like, unless the families are trash too, like what the hell's the matter with these people, right? Grow the F up. Uh, since this has happened, I canceled our tickets and hotel reservations for our honeymoon, and I'm strongly considering divorce. There's an idea. You should have strongly considered breaking up with her the umpteen times this happened. My lovely wife has gone from begging to crying to name-calling. She ultimately decided I was a massive a-hole for embarrassing her at our wedding and throwing away our relationship over nothing. I think I'm done this time. She's hurt me so many times and can't even see what she's doing wrong, so am I the a-hole. No, bro, you're not the a-hole for canceling the, vaca- the honeymoon and all that and thinking about divorce. You're the a-hole that you married this dumb broad that after so many times of her showing you her true colors and she doesn't care about your feelings or you or loyalty or love, that you still stayed with her and married her. So you're the a-hole for that. However, that is the past. So either you can learn from this finally and quickly have this annulled because you only been married a week, or you stay with her and give her the 19,000th chance and she's going to do it again, you know, and not to mention how much of an ass she made you look like in front of everybody. No, you weren't the one that caused the big problem. It was her. But of course, she's not going to be accountable for her actions and the wedding and everything. That was all on her. You know, and there were people in the comment section, oh, get her counseling, get her to stop drinking. No, she, she's a piece of shit. End of story, bro. So no, so if you end it with her, okay, we can we can move past your mistakes because obviously you're in love with her and all that. But if you stay with her and give her yet another chance, then you got no one to blame but yourself for any continued pain you're going to have. And you will have continued pain. Now, real quick, some comments here from the peanut gallery. One guy says, yep, not the a-hole. End this thing ASAP. You don't, you didn't embarrass her. She embarrassed you by cheating at your reception in front of everyone. Now she's trying to bully you into staying with her and even having to apologize to this cheater. She does not love or respect you. Talk to a lawyer as soon as you can before you risk more and more financially. Exactly. Another one. Not the a-hole. Once a cheater, always a cheater. You told her one more slip up and, that was, and this time it's over. Get the marriage annulment and move on with your life. She's gonna stop doing. She's she isn't gonna stop doing this if she is doing it with her maid of honor. I can promise you they have done more, and now they're they and, and they still are. I don't know, but yeah, a boss. She has no respect for you. This relationship. She wanted the wedding and you just to keep playing along because she's gotten away with it four times before now. Kick her ass to the curb. I guarantee you, there's been way more incidents than this guy is aware of, and I'm sure she's done way more with her body parts her tongue in other places other than uh, other gals' mouths that uh, she's letting on here. No, it's over. And I get it's heartbroken. He wasted four years of his life with her, set up the whole wedding. Sure, but you know what? It's far worse to stay with her. One more. It says, not the a-hole. Number one, it's not drinking only once a week. I mean, there aren't that many days that to get making out of with random drunk in a week if you have regular work schedule. Number two, absolutely valid to view your wife kissing other women as cheating. Three, your specific history in that regard making her do it is way worse. Four, on your effing wedding day in all pu- in, in all public on the dance floor after sending you away with her comfy shoes. That's, that's next level WTF and an absolute valid reason to get an annulment. If you need confirmation this is being the the right decision. There's number five. Her name calling you when she should be down her knees at least the next decade begging for your forgiveness. Well, clearly she doesn't like being down on her knees. She likes doing other things. Uh, let me tell you, she doesn't think she's wrong even after all that happened. And she will do it again and again and never stop doing it. A freaking met. So there you go. You handle it right. I got canceling the honeymoon and all that. But now he needs to handle it right. Ending the marriage and getting an annulment. And I will stay tuned for updates. Hopefully our guy here handles it right. But guys, let's all learn from this guy's many mistakes with someone like this.